Come on, let me give you credit. Bam. This is my dining room area. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? We ain't never ate at this table. But it's pretty though, right? Yo, GPA, doggy dogs, definitely in the hails. What's up, y'all? Big Snoop D O Double G. I want to welcome y'all to my house, the dog house. Slide in. This is the room where nobody get to kick it at. It's called the Untouchable Room. Touch on basis of untouchableism, you know, talking to my players. We have a proper little meeting right here. One player there, one player there. Yeah, no. Don't nobody come in this room either. I guess this is the player's room where we chop a game, you know, player's table. A little Snoop Dogg right here. I'm usually in the studio, or either outside on the basketball court. But that's what I usually do. All of this area right here, as you know, the wife put that together, the elegance and all of it. Look good, you did? the living room right here. See this artwork right here? Beautiful. For the most part, we watching, you know, videos or movies or the kids coming in and watch cartoons. The awards is cool, and we're trying to get some new ones up there. But I like the one in the middle, the favorite artist, the hip hop and rap. 95, the American Music Award, yeah, with Dick Clark. Dick Clark, a real player. What's up, Dick? This is my family right here. This is before I had my baby girl. This is me and Anita Baker after I won the Soul Train Award. She like one of my favorite singers. This is me and my first son right here, Spanky. See what the sign say right here? This is not a kicking spot. If you don't have any business in here, get out. Guess where it all go down there? Where we create all the musical madness that we do. It's the wall of fame. Every gang bang homie I got come through here and sign the wall. Some of them still alive, some of them in jail for life, some of them still on the streets. But this is what we represent right here, this gangster rap thing. Yeah, y'all, this is the backyard in the wonderful world of doggy land. Just a little patio area right here. Well, you know, the players like to kick it. The jacuzzi, the swimming pool. Right now, I'm the best swimmer, but I, my Uncle Junebug think he can outswim me. He's 60 years old. Now look at my dogs, they're gonna show out for you. Hey, Red, you know you on MTV, huh, baby? You like MTV. Hey, Daddy. Hey. This is my dog, White Boy, right here. Hi, White Boy. Hi, Whitey. Well, he look like Gray Boy right now, because he ain't clean. This neighborhood is all about Snoop Dogg. I bring that ghetto environment out here to this nice neighborhood. That neighbor over there used to get on my nerves. He used to always call the police on me. And Say I've made loud noise and party hardy. I'm a young man, you know what I'm saying? I was born to party, you dig? Welcome to the dog house. This is the real basketball court, y'all. But as you see, we got a whole lot of room out here. It's quiet, don't nobody bother me. I need to have a place like this where I can just relax, you know what I'm saying? On the inside of the house, there's so much energy and it's always off the hook and out here it's so quiet. So it just complements each other. This the uh, owner's bench right here. That was given to me by Death Row Records when I was on Death Row Records. I had it painted purple and gold since I knew my basketball court was going to be purple and gold. When the game is going on out here, that's where I sit at. Man, we even had a whole bunch of celebrities. Chris Tucker, Jodeci. We even had BBD out here. All of them, man, it's big out here, man. Doghouse is, is major. This is the section right here where we get our eat on at. Chicken wings. French fries, macaroni and cheese, cornbread. My wife does all the cooking. And a lot of liquids, juices, pickles, butter. My favorite, Cristal. What would life be without it? Or some more way. Why not? We keep it gangsta up in here, man. Popsicles. Let go my ego. <laughs> Come up in here, though. This is where I be at. This is where the junk food is ding dong, donuts, cookies. It's supposed to be for the kids, but I'm the biggest kid in the house. This is my baby's room right here. My oldest son sleep right now, spanking. He over there knocked out. Just like his daddy, a true player. 
This is my baby girl room right here, my little daughter. Her bed in our room, so she ain't got no bed in here. She growing up so fast. This how we doing it for the 2000 Doghouse Office. We got big stars like Warren G chopping up on the phone right now. And this the radio right here where we survey demos. If people send us demos, CDs, we listen on that radio right there. If it's whack, that's a trash can to go in. If it's dope, next to me is where you'll be. This is the garage right here. We'll be kicking it, smoking. Playing dominoes, cars. This is my G wall right here. Me and Pac, me and Dre. This is the other little studio. If you make a hot beat back here, you get to take it in the big studio. You basically audition and trying to, you know, get your music into the next room where we can actually record it and take it to the next level. See what the signs say? No food or drinks in the studio. Now look, look, look right here. Look how they pay attention to the rules around here. That look like food and drink, don't it? What I love about my house, everybody follow the rules. This to old school Batman and Robin Riviera, the navigator for all the player haters. And this here is my girl right here, Annie Mae, my fire deuce Pontiac. She means so much to me. I'm gonna show y'all to the door. And the same way y'all came in is the same way y'all gonna go out. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming through here. Sharing your beautiful afternoon with me and my family and seeing my home. Big Snoop Dogg, I'm up out of here. I love y'all, MTV. Y'all drive safety and buckle up because the police will jack your ass. Yeah, 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 what's up? This Weezy Wee. And this cast one and number one stunner. And me and my pa about to show y'all what we call home. First. I got to start with the S. It ain't a cash money house without a dollar sign, you know what I'm saying? We got sur surround sound through the whole house, and this side here is strictly for the pool outside, and we're gonna get to that. Just right your little pimp of the year award we won, you know what I'm saying, from coming up out the hood. Pimp uh, yeah. yeah, believe that. I wanna show y'all the whole little Front, you know we got the jacuzzi. We come home sometime, we just be wanting to chill, and I ain't, we ain't want no furniture. We gonna just do something different. That dude put girls in that hot tub. And I'm gonna bring y'all to the master bedroom that was in the back, so y'all come walk with me this way. All this whole house is connected to the swimming pool. My brother liked to come chill in this room, so we got the big ceiling, you know, slim tall. <laughs> so we got to have it spacey for him. You got the bathroom, which is stand-up shower click, and click, a stand-up tub. Up. We don't sit down, we stand up and do our thing. All right, I'm gonna take you around and show you a few more things, which Kind of a favorite spot for me is the dining room because I like to eat. I get chubby. Gangsters don't do nothing but get chubby. Exotic but gangster, you know. We from the hood. Anything look good, to us. Everybody eating. Right here, you got the refrigerator. You got the fried chicken. We got more chicken to cook. That's my favorite thing. I drink Coke. My kidney gonna be gone by the time I'm 25. I don't care, though. This here is the game room. This is where we come play our little games. I gotta show y'all this, though. This was really real. Right here. That was money that I seen was big. The wall symbolized all our hard work. And Wayne, the BG, the Turk, the Hop. Boys, juvenile, men fresh. Wayne. And Wayne Did again. we say Wayne? <laughs> Wayne. See that hallway? Look at that. Look how long that hallway is. We could play a whole football game in there. <laughs> All these bedrooms up here is for Wayne. I got a girl in that one. I might got a girl in that one. You cut right through here, through the bathroom. All love, cash money. 
Now this is a sight. We have our jacuzzi party, the pool party. You can just sit right here and peep the whole plate. I want to show y'all my little duck off. It's cool. I like this here. You know, I could just duck off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get in the shade and just go in a whole nother world, you know? This the spot where, you know, where we zone out Let right here. Do his thing. Where I should get to shed my tear drop tears, you dig? I sit here and I we zone out, you dig? Zone, and just man. appreciate how it came and thank God for the blessings. And now I'm gonna bring y'all to the pool. This what we throw it all, this way it goes down. I don't swim, no. They say I'm shallow, <laughs> I never learned to swim. We got to have it bumping JBL all the way around. They got bass under the pool. So if we cut it on, you think you're in a car out here. You're going to feel the beat. From here, I'll just bring y'all outside and let y'all see some of these cars. We like a lot of little bitty cars, because I, I had a certain phase I was at. I was the little kid. So you know, we got the Prowler. You got the little Cruiser, the 4x4. Four four. Then you got the big PT Cruiser. You got the big Z66. And the rims as big as me kneeling down. <laughs> That's crazy. You got the Cadillac. You got the Prowler. You think this is a regular excursion from here? And then we do it like this. <laughs> And so you got my brother name on the seats, my name on the seats. We got Hot Boys, which customized, done in the truck, like 10 DVDs. We just basically play this here when we go to an event or something, you know what I'm saying? Hold like 25 people. I love it. This the Lexus, 2002. Look how it You can go in from here. You got speakers everywhere, all in your ear. You got the back, that's just nothing but speakers. We got TV right here, we got TV up there, so it's crazy. This is my Porsche Boxster. I got the black rims. They on 19 because I'm 19 years old and I feel me and my rims are grown. My little hot red Lexus, I love this little baby. This one I'm riding in the day, I'm riding in my little bubble. See y'all, um, every whip that I own, and I own 50 whips, right? So that means 200 pair of rims. Every last one of them, I could do this. Automatic start, homie. You have seen a beautiful house, a lot of chrome, beautiful cars. Me and my son haven't ate nothing yet. I'm gonna show y'all some beautiful teeth. Now we going inside and eat and always come to my crib and ball with the ballrifics. You dig? We going to get our grub on, drink a little bubbly. Come back when you feel like it. Hot boys. Hello, and how you doing? Good to see you here. Let's get right to it. Come on. This is my living room. I like to keep flowers in my house. I like to be one with the earth. I have a lot of stones in this house. I've named all of my plants. This is Big Papa right here. <laughs> Tupac is on one other side of the room. You have to keep them separated, you know. So here we are in the kitchen. I always like to stay real healthy. That's how I keep this body, you know, to keep your six pack of stomach rice. I eat a lot of fruit, as you can see. And me and my friends spend a lot of time here if we're not in the kitchen cooking. Right, I don't even cook. As you can see, there is nothing in my refrigerator but water. Water and wine. Keep a clear mind. This is the dining room. We don't spend a lot of time in here, so it looks very nice and well set. Like the chandelier. It's not your normal chandelier. It's just kind of funky and fun. This painting, the reason why I like it so much, 
Because imagine this all being black and the artist does everything with a razor. Every image is basically carved out, this entire piece. Now we move on to the best room in the house. This is the music room. This piece behind me, it's magnificent. It's a portrait of Marvin Gaye. One of my most prized possessions is some of my photographs. I got Charlie Parker up there on the horn, Sarah Vaughn over here. I don't play the piano, but I do have a lot of musical friends. And so they come over, they play, and we just you know sit around here, sing, and just have a good time. Now we make our way to the bedroom. I'm sort of a guest in my own house because this room hasn't been finished. We're actually in the middle of construction. I want to tell you guys a little bit about what it's going to look like. My designers, they've made the plans for the room. They set everything out. This is some of the different textures, with, like different furs. The bed is going to be made in leather. This is sort of how the room is set up. Look at that. Got a fireplace in the room. Beautiful chandelier over here. This closet over here is just specifically for my suits and more dressy attire. It's very bourgeois in here. I'd say I've collected over 2,000 pairs of shoes. I don't dress up that much. I don't want to dress down. That's why I come. That's why I keep all of my tennis shoes. I collect like mad Jordans. I have every Jordan ever. So now I'm taking it upstairs. <laughs> I'm laughing because every time I walk up these steps, I'm very cautious. Like last Christmas, I fell down this entire flight of steps. And I step and I just shoot, go, 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 then roll down. That was terrible. This is why I sleep until my other room gets done. My mother designed this room. She uh, basically set it up for me. It's real elegant. Eventually, this will become a guest room. This is my mother's area. She lives down the street. When she's not here, if I want to get close to my mom, sometimes I might sit in here and, and just sort of fill her. My mother's like my best friend, my heart. I love her to death. Everything from the lighting to the textures, the colors, everything is my mother in this room. And uh, this is where my hidden closet is. This is my cedar closet. Most of my tour clothing or uh, just clothing from different seasons are held up here. This right here is my favorite fur coat. My mother bought this for me about two years ago. I feel like the Mac when I got this thing on. You know, I was basically pimping, you know, doing my thing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just keep it on. We just, you know, roll out throughout the house. See what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying, baby? Now we're gonna take a look at my cars before we hit the guest house. I have a nice car. I got a Lincoln Navigator right here. It doesn't have the twinkie twinkies on. It doesn't have the 22 inch rims, but it's got a nice sound system and a lot of meaning. This is the first car that I ever purchased. This Porsche was given to me by L.A. Reed, his first gift. That back there, that's my, that's my dog right there. I call it my Boricua. See, this is where the party happens right here. We come in, music is blasting, it's like, you know, all out fun. Just let me take this thing out, I'm getting hot. <laughs> that's my sofa, nobody sits on that sofa but me. Kitchen area, we'll make our way down to the studio, come on. This actually is L.A. Reed's old house. I remember as a kid sitting up in the kitchen saying, wow, L.A. Reed, man, one day I want to own a house like this. And I ended up buying this house. Ain't that something? This is the hottest studio in Atlanta forever. When I'm here in the uh, uh, summertime, we all get together and just have a good time here at the pool. You can't really explain this too much. You, know, you got, you know, furniture and pool. You can sit down or get in. <laughs> this is how brothers should do it, you know. You know, we don't have to go out in the city and have a good time. We bring the party to us. Listen, I hope you guys had a wonderful time in the wonderful world of you. This is my humble home. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you here. We ain't got to go home. You gotta get the hell out of here. I don't know what you heard about me. But if you can't get a dollar out of me, then I'm a You want new TV credit? Damn. This is my dining room area. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? We ain't never ate at this table. But it's pretty though, right? 
I ain't even gonna tell you no lies. These chairs came from Mike Tyson. It was here before we got here, but this table I had flown in. Kamora know what this is right here, because she doesn't spare $5. This right here, you see this little the red button right here? It indicates to you this is Baccarat Crystal. That's $80,000 right there. I could have bought a BMW instead of that right there. And this right here is one of my favorite things in the house right here. If you look closer, you see it's me. My uncle made this for me here in the penitentiary. He's been in jail for 15 years, and he hadn't made this for me. I got mad details to it. The G and the logo. This stuff is priceless, man. You can't go buy this. So if I dropped it, I, I have a heart attack. I'm gonna take y'all over here to the kitchen. See, I got a sound system in here. For the cook to be jamming to the new Curtis album while he actually cooking. 50 coming out your stereos. Now I want to show you my refrigerator. This is my favorite flavor of vitamin water right here. Bam! Formula 50. Well, enough of that. Well, I got all of this new stuff. Look at this. Nobody ever cooked in there. You on to me? Are you on to me yet? <laughs> now, let me tell you the truth, right? This house has six kitchens. And in this particular area, no one's touched it. Now I'm going to show you the rest of my crib. But first, I'm going to go change into some clothes, and then I'm going to come back and show you everything. What's up? You like my new outfit? See, I changed my clothes for you and everything. I'm working, baby. I'm working. This is supposed to be a sitting area. You're supposed to sit and maybe read something. Look, I got a lot of cool pictures, but this is the first picture I'm gonna show you. You see my grandmother's in there? Well, my grandmother is deaf, but she got her back turned to you in the picture. <laughs> you thought I was gonna show you so you can know she is on the street? Nah. Let me take you over here so you can check this stuff out. This is it right here. This is my empire. East Coast Playboy Mansion. Come with me. Come check out my awards. Every now and then, they decide to give me something. Probably don't see these in everybody's house right there. 2003 GQ, man of the year. MTV, I got the Moon Man right here. Best new artist and video featuring Eminem. They really gave it to me because Eminem was in it. See, his name's even on my trophy. Oh, oh look, Grammy. This means nothing. I just put it in the middle because everybody else cares about it, but the Grammys never acknowledge my music, so they don't count. I got ASCAP Writer of the Year, 2004, 2006. And I'm predicting I'll be ASCAP Writer of the Year, 2008. Come with me. I'm gonna show you my office. This right here is a picture of me and Jessica Alba. She's beautiful, look at that. Me and Justin Timberlake. Me, M, Young Buck, Tony Ayo, Lloyd Banks. And these are the stars right here, for real. It's my son and Eminem's daughter right there. And then that's me and Madonna. This is me and Bill Gates. And this is my godson, Makai. Well, let me show you this. This is Kanye West. Kanye West, the teddy bear. And here's 50 Cent. Wake up, Mr. West! Mr. West! Mr. West! Uh. <laughs> Kanye wants to say goodbye. Say goodbye, Kanye. Goodbye. And you know, now we gotta go. Bye, Kanye. We out of here. I'll show you some more of my crib. Now I'm taking you, showing you my movie theater. I spent a lot of time in here. That's why this chair's already moved back. Got the motor out of the joints. When I put it back like that, you see me all the way in the laid back position? Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to finish the movie. I'm going to be sleeping. I got some cool stuff on here. Look, I got this thing, the system on here. I got 3,000 movies. 
inside this actual system. I like technology, the, the new stuff. I be having stuff first all the time. Tell you my master bedroom, you gonna like this. You ready? It's cool, I'm surrounded by entertainment. I thought we'd up, raise it up, cause it's gangsta kid. So I can watch TV here. Or I can watch TV there. I like to watch MTV, but there ain't enough videos. <laughs> Sierra, like a boy. They go think I set that up, right? It's a coinky. Sometimes I wish I could act like a boy. I love you ladies. You love me back? You're not just be doing like this. I need to see you and feel you next to me. This is my shower. You can watch TV from the shower. And the toilet's right in front of me in case you're gonna be there for a little while. You These are my hats and stuff. And I put my jeans up in here. I want to show you my shoes. Now, this is going to bug you out. Because the majority of the shoes that I got in here are G-Unit shoes. I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be the right time for me to wear yellow shoes. Let me show you the lady side. Right? This is the female side right here. There's plenty of clothes. But they're not female clothes. Ooh. Come here. Come here, man. Feel that. That's the good stuff right there. Feel that. Come on. Look at that. That's the good stuff right there. That's Armani. We're going to move on now. Show you some more of my stuff. MTV Crab. <laughs> Oh, let me show you my pool. 50. I ain't the best swimmer, right? So I want it to feel like I'm on the beach. You pretty much can just walk down, and it ends up being like 12 feet. But it's just a slant all the way down. The actual waterfall on top, the grotto pit. You see the Playboy Mansion? This is the East Coast version, baby. Good evening, ladies. I tell you from the start, I'm hoping you enjoy my amusement park. Come on, we're gonna go check out my pond. Show you where my fish is at. Yeah, I stomp so they can hear the vibrations. They know I'm coming to feed them. Watch this, watch, look. They love me too. Look, watch this, watch this. You know I love was meant to be. See how they came? Kind of love to last forever. I'm done feeding my fish. Now we're going to go over to the basketball court and see what they're doing. Oh, oh, oh that's good! You see that? I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to walk with you because I was feeling that too. My son is around, I play ball all the time. Because he's basketball crazy. <laughs> This is the observation deck. This is what this is for, actually, for you to sit back and watch the actual game. Oh, 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 oh. and one, ref. And one. All right, I'm going to take in my ATV track. Come on, ATV, get off. Let me show you some of my cars. Now, I know you ain't see these before when you was watching Cribs because everybody ain't got these, you know what I mean? This is Curtis right here, you understand what I'm saying? It's the Ferrari F50. If you look inside the car, you don't got no music. The car be loud, this is like 
stock car. I don't really use it for much. Really what I do is I use it for conversation. I get around my really rich friends and they say, I got a Ferrari F50, I say, me too. Okay, everybody meet Mr. Me Too. This is the Enzo right here. It's $1 million. Keep his car, you keep him nice and neat. You start every now and then, ride around the block, and the value just goes up, up, up. This is a Ferrari you get after you got these. It's a 599. This is the only one that got an actual stereo with it. I got Kanye West CD in it. <laughs> this is Trans Am right here. Wait, somebody calling me. That's Floyd Mayweather. But we ain't gonna talk to him right now because we doing MTV Crip. And he dancing with the star. <laughs> Now, let me stop, he gonna be mad at me. And this right here be the car you see me. This is my baby right here. <laughs> this right here is the new G6 GXP. The hottest car on the street. I had an opportunity to get with Pontiac and kind of create the vibe that's going on. It's cool, and it got my, like, it got my style to it. Hey, what's up? This is my indoor pool right here. I have a trainer come to work, work out with me, and, and we work three times a day. And the third workout is in the actual pool. We're gonna head to my studio. Follow me. This is where I made my new album, Curtis. Oh, let me show you this, look. You guys see this right here. This is my mixtape plaque right here. That's right, we started this mixtape thing, you heard? Vocal book. This was Tony. Yeah, yo, see, he write like garbage. See how it's, <laughs> it's right, it's terrible. Scribble, scrabble, but it be sounding super good, though. Unit, baby. This is a nightclub area. I have a real party, be like 2,000 people. Gotta have security come stay, keep going through the house because people will be trying to stay, be under the bed. The DJ booth got everything in it, it's all state of the art. They change everything from a mic, had the place, had to upgrade it. Yeah, this is a dance floor right here. We can use this as a strip club right here. But this is not strong enough. You see, it's weak. I got to get this fixed. That's because the girls be bum wham man. We need the big girls. Man, I take that and make that. This is it, man. So you got a chance to see some of my toys. You saw some of my cars. Got a chance to see the crib. But we finished. I'll see you next time. We do MTV Cribs on my new house. I ain't going to tell you where it's at yet.